Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris again with Tech Savvy Agent and I wanted to share an awesome tip with you guys today involving lists, specifically lists in Facebook because if you're like me, I mean I probably at this point have like almost a thousand friends and then I of course have the fan page with almost 7,000 agents so I'm working a lot on that. I'm working a lot within my own profile with my actual friends and then I have all these realtors that I'm friends with and then I'm also, I like a lot of pages, right? So I'm a fan of all these pages. So the point is, when you have that many things that you're connected to, kind of in this kind of sphere that is Facebook, it gets really difficult to actually consume the information that you want to consume because it's just throwing all these updates from all these people. So enter a solution, which is called Facebook Lists. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to create a list so that you can organize Facebook, but even further, it also turns on two additional features, which I thought was pretty cool. So let's hop into this. So I'm on my primary uh, you know, home screen in Facebook, and there's a little tab here on the left, says friends. So we're gonna start off and we're gonna click right on friends. And then that's gonna bring a drop down, and you can see that it's got all these little sub menus. We'll get back to that, but what we wanna do is right at the top, it's really easy, we're gonna create a list. So when we click create a list, pops it up, obviously it's loading, and I can put in, uh, for this list what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna call it uh, Top Realtors. So if I wanted to organize my list and then go through, and you can see all these people that I'm friends with, and all these pages that I'm a fan of, but I can actually just click on the top real estate agents and just kind of pick and choose who's gonna go in to the new list. So I don't have to choose everybody, and I'm just kind of doing this as an example, but we're gonna throw a few people into this list, and now all of a sudden we have a category or a contact type. We're just gonna click create list. So think about your database. You don't have everybody in there as buyer. You have buyers, sellers, FISBOs, friends, sphere of influence, you know, past clients. So think about Facebook that way. So what that did for me is now everybody that I checked off, they're in one status feed just to themselves. So you could have a feed for your family, a feed for other realtors. You could have a feed for the pages that you like the most, right? Maybe tech savvy, throw that on there. And that way you can get right into it. So I have a little tab here called Gurus. I can click on Gurus and it goes right to the pages that I like the most, right? I can go right to Realtors or Top Realtors. So think of it just like your database. You're organizing your contacts. So that would be step one. Go to the home screen, click on Friends. Right at the top, you click Create List and start organizing. But here's what's even better. So here's where I go a little deeper than most people would go. How can we leverage these lists beyond just looking at the status feeds? Check this out. When you go into your messages, you obviously can send messages. I get business uh, offers and questions and you know the inbox, if you will, of Facebook is pretty powerful. But normally, if I wanted to write a new message, so let's say I did a blog post and I wanted that to go out to all my realtor friends. I would have to either spam everybody or I'd have to kind of go one at a time and choose them. But check this out. If I put in realtors, or actually let's do the one I just did, top realtors, see how it's got it as a group now. So I can choose top realtors and say, check this out, right? And now these people care about what goes into the link or the video or the message. So imagine being able to send buyers, sellers, past clients, friends, people that go to church with you, people that you like to golf with. So there's a million possibilities for leveraging this. And remember when we hit send, this little guy right here at the top, <clears throat> he's gonna light up and let them know you've got a new message in your inbox. You cannot send a message that pops up the reminder to an inbox from a page. You can only do that through your profile. So that's pretty cool. And then the other thing that I noticed in the bottom right is a lot of you guys have also found the value of chatting and using the chat tool. So if I actually open up the chat, instead of it only having these options for everybody, which is overwhelming, it even breaks your chat down into the category. So if I just wanted to go 
and see everybody in top realtor, realtor, et cetera. It's breaking that down for me. So it helps you with your messaging. It helps you with consuming information you know, that you want to actually consume, which I think is pretty important. And then lastly, it allows you to kind of chat with the right groups. So you may not want to talk with, you know, all the people that are distracting you because a lot of the information on Facebook is so much about just, hey, what's going on? Sometimes it's hard to cut to the chase and find the right people to engage with. So Facebook lists, hopefully you guys just learned something new. Uh, if you already knew about the lists, Hopefully you maybe pick something up with the email option, which is right there, or the chat option, which is in the bottom corner. It also puts those features into lists. So Chris, tech savvy agent, also wanted to say a real quick thank you. Uh, the Inman Innovative Blog of the Year nominee, tech savvy agent, which sounds pretty cool. And uh, thank you to everybody that voted. And we're really looking forward to hopefully winning that award and kind of bringing it home to the community here. So thank you guys. Have a great day and we'll talk real soon.